All right, you guys. We have some boxes that have come. So this is... I think this is a bit. I'm going to show it to you guys. If I'm not mistaken, I think I know what this is. Nope, I'm wrong. Super wrong. Okay. This came from, from Paula. And this is... Oh, okay. No. Yes. I mean, yes, the box is from Paula. But Lisa ordered these for my staff. And I will tell you right now, she ordered them from Broken Spur Creations. And they are a wristband that you put on your wrist and it says turn off the water. And there are tons of them. Turn off water. So they're ear tags. So basically, when you go out and you turn a water on, you put this around your wrist so that you don't forget. And I bet you we can get Lisa. See, it says turn off water. I bet we can get Lisa to actually post look at these look what um lisa got us oh my goodness yeah love so, love love so there's a bunch like this one's a little more manly for lane they just all say turn off water i love it but that way of course this one is my favorite because i love purple but i also love leopard so i'm like okay these are all mine wait i'm not the one that waters i like purple and leopard too so <laughs> this one's really cute this one is uh this one's jess i love that Jess will like that. Lane, you. Um, I know Elizabeth will love this. She loves tribal print. Mm -hmm. But this one right here is really pretty too. It's like purple marble. I like that one. Anyway, they are keychains, but they have this band. And this just is a good thing so we can hang them up in here. And whoever goes to water can put them on. We don't, you know, the truth is lately we've not had a really bad time turning the waters off. We've had some bad times with ship breaking and then freezing, freezing, but, but there is not a water leak on this place today. Today. Thank God. I got it right here. Okay. Yep. I'm fixing to put out a February wish list. Just so you know, um, everybody asked me for an Amazon wish list, and I'm just going to tell you that the problem with Amazon wish list, headed to North Carolina tomorrow. Can't wait to see and get him. Oh, Lord. What oh, it? Lord. <laughs> Elizabeth, she'll be so grateful. Elizabeth broke her hat riding turbo, and these are awesome. Listen, I could tell in her face. We're all going to be wearing one. <laughs> I know, but I could tell in Elizabeth's face that she was, like, heartbroken. She fucked her hat up. Like, yeah. she was heartbroken, but I was alive, and she didn't want to, like, truthfully show how heartbroken she was that she... Seriously. Oh, my God. She will love these. Yes. We'll let her... We'll let Elizabeth pick, and then I know Daryl will want one. Yes. <laughs> Here. I know you'll want this one. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm a bandana girl. Yeah. I don't know. I know Elizabeth. I'm not loves a tie dye girl. <laughs> Elizabeth, you're gonna have to just know that this one. I'm gonna. This is all me, you guys. And I got this one. Yeah. So Elizabeth now has to share with us, which I'll tell you, she doesn't mind sharing. Elizabeth is great at that. But I will tell you, she looked like somebody shot her dog to me, and I, I like wanted to give her a hug. Uh, Caddy, what are these? Do we know? Have no clue. Well, you said you wanted to have an unboxing. Alejandro Ruiz from California. This is foam. I feel like, here, it's going to be a print of some form, I'm sure. Just the way it's packed. Oh, this is super cute. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, this is, is that bathroom. for our miscellaneous. This is this? It says bathroom rules, and it says if you lift it up, put it down. If it runs out, replace it. If you miss it, mess it. If you miss, clean it up. <laughs> the poor guy that shit all over the wall. If There's you miss, no... if you miss, clean it up is the key here to the guy that shit all over our walls. Did we have nine water buckets come? We don't know yet. If I mean, they haven't been opened, right? Oh no, okay. she just sent those like this. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Don't worry. We're gonna have another unboxing this month because we have a list of stuff that people always ask me for an Amazon wish list. And listen, it's not that I don't love the convenience of an Amazon wish list. The problem with an Amazon wish Ooh. list is oh, hey, okay. That that nukes. <laughs> Here, I bought this. Sit there. Hold on. We'll do Am this. Am I a little too second. excited for yes. that? <laughs> 
It's that a lot of the things that we really genuinely need, you cannot buy on Amazon. So that makes it tough. Like what we're gonna do is sit down and do an Amazon wish list of things that are $50 and below, but then all of the things that we need that are kind of $100 and up, I'm just gonna make a February wish list. And I tell people, if you can send gut check, great, it's $99. If you have the money, it's $2.99 for a gallon and that's four of them. So it's basically buy three, get one free if you do a gallon. But not everybody can afford to, to donate a gallon of gut check and we understand that. So we are gonna do items on Amazon that are basically um, like $50 and below. But we have some CEP products that we love, like their grooming products. And their grooming products are very affordable. And I almost would rather support Brooklyn because she's amazing. Um, these hats are made by Hemlock. They're made by Hemlock. And they are, I know Elizabeth will love this one. That's why I put it on. Because I knew as soon as I put it on, she was going to be like, bitch, that one's blind. But she likes this kind of stuff. Like, she likes like artsy stuff. So, And she's getting girly on us. Okay, so what are these? These are super cute, but what are they? Oh, uh, the, Elizabeth told me those were mailed to the wrong person. These are mailed to the wrong house. Okay, so we need to make sure that these make it back in the mail. Who do they go to? Mm. These are for Taylor Morris. Uh, for, okay, same box number, different road. Let's contact Prime and see if they pick these up. I don't know how they handle that. Because we've been getting a lot of, the we've been day, getting a lot of stuff that's not the correct address. The other day, I saw that it had Taylor Morris on it, and I left it so out there because hoping like they'd pick it up. And the FedEx dude just brought it back up here. He brought, oh, he brought it back. Okay. So wait, this says. Uh, and who is this? Is this ours or is this Taylor Morris also? No, this is for Elizabeth. Okay. Oh yeah, somebody got her this, and I will tell you, she's been using this. It's the um, anti-smoking stuff so that she can smoke stop. She's trying. It's more than I can say for you. I still like you, but. Elizabeth is trying to stop smoking. Dara is. Trying to keep on Dara is down to less than half a pack of cigarettes a day. That's a fucking lot, bro. It is a lot compared to what I was doing. Yeah, she was smoking like two packs a day. What the fuck? Are up. you at chain smoking? I was what not the? smoking at all. I was using my puffer that had no A puffer nicotine. is worse. A puffer is worse. It causes yeah. crackles in your ear. What is this? I ain't got like a Two day. fucking packs a day. Do y'all hear this? When oh, me and this? Raymond split, like, whew. Well, I'm... My grandma smokes like I well, I'm, I'm guarantee you within a month, I'll be off on Thank God. This says this now, but it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My child. This is probably actually for Elizabeth, so she doesn't have to um, oh. ever hinder her hat again. Get but. Me. My child is the one that will be running around doing this to herself because Tinley likes to pretend she's a horse. You all see this? It's a unitorn. It's a little. I mean, I should take. I don't even want to know what Elizabeth are doing with it. Um. Yeah, I was just gonna take it home to Daddy. We did get these buckets, and these are good quality buckets. We got four of them, and it says sold to Lisa, and that's all it says. Perfect, 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 perfect. These are such good quality buckets. These 20 quart flat back buckets are such good quality. What's that? Oh, that's part of this. Not smoking part of the not thing. smoking stuff. That's right. She told me it was in that, bed. That's that in the trash box. Here's a drone. That was lying. Oh, yeah. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, barrel racing books. She'll love that. I bet these are for Elizabeth. Oh, no. This is probably Tinley. This is like a coloring type book. My child will love this. Yeah. Oh, and that. It might actually be Elizabeth's, this one. But my child will probably, my child will enjoy this one. If I know Elizabeth, this will be all Elizabeth. And then this will be super good because Elizabeth likes to read and she's really honestly wanting to get better. And I like that book. Okay. Lane, you want to check over there and see what those two are? Yeah. 
Just pop them open and we'll see. I can already tell you what this is. Yeah, that's a caddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, dog treats. Skeet will love that. So we will give this to Skeet because she lives outside because these unfortunately, bucket these are bucket hangers, which we needed and I'm sure they will love this. Oh yeah. These immediate response paste, if you guys ever see these, we love them. Thank you yeah, for this. Yeah, we got two of them and some more of those bucket deals. Thank you. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, fantastic. Uh -huh. Kenley had a raincoat here the other day, and I had it on her for about two seconds. And that's says, about it. Yep. This says Jacob and Tara. Open it. It's okay. You can open anything of mine. I don't have my sex toy sent here. Okay, just make sure. Dara. Oh, I wanted to go to Spencer's yesterday and couldn't think of the Ooh, name of it. What are these? Green spray, green spot out dry shampoo. I love this for the winter time. This is great. Mm -hmm. Daily gold. Okay, the this right here. Listen, anytime you guys send this stuff right here, this daily gold, we, this is a great product. It, love it. My horse is on. I do love this product. I love this. Here's the thing. I may have something that I like the best. But it doesn't mean that there aren't other supplements out there that are fantastic, and this is a great supplement. And what I like about that is it's affordable. It's very affordable, and in the winter, it really does help with the water intake. Well, I'm all about the most bang for your buck. Yeah. Well, I, I think Gut Check is a better product, but that doesn't mean that's not an okay product. Okay, so what does it say about me that mine are on Gut Check also? Also, yeah. I don't know that that's necessary. I mean... So she, I mean, if you can afford it, I just like the benefits. I love this. Well, I if you guys ever want to send us grooming products, this Panther Mane and Tail, it's um, Car and Day, Car and Day and Martin. The products that this company make are really great products. And also, we got this one to make. And, uh, oh, I so love Shoshin. these grooming blades. Yep, grooming blades are fantastic. Well, yep, we got Shoshin too. We got Spray Helmet. Master. The chemically resistant sprayer high output. I love these. What is this one? Oh, Sharpies. Okay. I love Cowboy Magic, but truthfully, this product right here is probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like Cowboy Magic too. But this. And the Mega Tech Rebuilder. Smell. Hey, we got I don't some. have to smell. I smell it every time I use it. We got some more bottles. Oh, good. We needed them. Somehow, we managed to have the worst luck with sprayers. That's because we used the dog out of them. Yeah, but they just get stopped up. Like, yeah. I actually want to believe that this is Hotel Transylvania Transformia, but I know that it's just somebody used that box. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I drunk them in that deal. Like, in a box like that? Yeah. Shoshin. It's Shoshin. Damn. Hey, here's another two, two bottles. bottles. Yep. We're going to drink one more down there. Two bottles of Shoshin. We, I love it. And it's the Miracle Groom. Yep. These Miracle Grooms. That's in a bottle. They I are. Okay, so basically anytime we can avoid having to give baths, we're not mad about it. Especially because of the weather right now. Oh, God, it smells so good. Mm. The daddy only knew that... It smells like a little bit plant-based. You know what I'm saying? Like it has like a... Okay, I bought something that I am super excited to show you guys and I know Daddy is going to spank my ass. I've been saving up and like buying... So I bought the carts because I got a really good deal on a package of carts. What The draft cart needs new tires, which we're going to have to try to find those. But the cart itself is in great condition. Yeah. Now I have to save up and buy harness because, like, this is not something Jacob Two more bath in a bottle. We use it. I'm not sure what this is. Let me see. I can tell you. This is Easy Clean Waterless Shampoo. You know what we're going to do? We are going to take a picture of all of these different waterless shampoos. How many of you guys leave a like right now, like or love this video, if you would like for us to... Product um, test. Product test. We have three or four different... I know we have the 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 green clean shampooless bath. I think we have four different ones because we have a different brand at the barn. We have this one, so we have four different brands of waterless bath products. And we have the also we have that one that's like a powder. 
the let us know if you would like for us to demo all of these and give you guys next week a review of all of them and let you know which ones we like. That way you know which product is worth the money because we have a lot of them and I, I've used all of them and I know they all work, but surely with the price point of each one and the size, we can probably figure out which one is the best one. There is a no note with that, but it came from Healthy Trader. It's from Lisa. Oh, is it? Uh-huh, and it's purple, so I love that. What's in that one? Oh, that horse, yeah, horsey we've blanket. Did that one. Okay, hand me that big harness. Um, did you do this one? Yes, Lane did. Okay, okay this and is what I bought. Had immediate response and it was in not it the cheapest thing I have ever bought, mm -hmm. but I made the decision to buy great quality instead of I Cheap. wanted to buy great quality so that we still have this five years from now. Yep. So I ordered this and it is um, made by Equitim and it is 100% bison and it's just a sturdier leather. And I'm afraid, so it said on there that the horse size was for 14.3 plus and the cob was for 13 hands to 14.3. So I ordered Nukes a cob harness, and I'm a little bit afraid it won't fit, but surely his head is not. Because he's a halflinger, but he's only 13, three, almost 14 hands. But so, his huge. But his head is big. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, his head is normal, but he's not a giant horse. So anyway, I'm hoping this fits. I ordered a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful harness for him. Everything is doubled over so that basically you can't break it. Yeah. mid drive and um, we just need to make sure we take care of it because it was not the most affordable one I could have paid $150 for like a nylon harness yeah. mm -hmm. no I didn't I bought a really good and I also bought one that had rub guards everything about it is double padded grab the, the uh, what is this I don't know it just come off that it came there off is some this. assembly required it looks like it came off of this or it came with it? I it think it off. is another brow band, so it has like a brow band replacement. Okay. So everything I bought was double reinforced and padded. Like this is like the, the tail check. I just wanted to make sure that if we do make a horse pull, everything is like thick and padded because I don't, you know, I don't want it to rub him or to be uncomfortable. Like, I've never had a cart horse before, and I'm excited. I'm super excited to have a cart and harness, but I also wanted to make sure that I didn't I didn't want to buy, like, the little cheap thin nylon stuff and then us rub. The pull pads are really so, padded. Yes. So everything I bought is, like, super padded, super bougie, and I didn't spend the money because anybody gives a shit, like, most people would have never noticed the difference between the leather one and this, but I just didn't have the heart to like hook him up to a cart and ask him to pull my fat ass around this property. Um, that's right, the crouper. I think I said tell check. I don't know why I said that. That's right, it's a crouper. Just forgive me. I was thinking about the, um, it has check lines that are removable and we're not gonna do check lines. No, we probably will not be keeping him, but we are gonna drive him while he's here and if he sells, you know, it's something to where we can sell the harness with him if we want to. But I just, I wanted to just make sure that everything I purchased was just really great quality for his sake. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Like, I hope that makes sense. Like, I could have done a lot cheaper. <laughs> and so now I'm saving up to get Thor a harness because same thing. I just don't want to do, I don't want to do like $150 nylon harness. Because when Thor came to us, he had horrible um, where they had done a collar and it had rubbed. So then they had done a breast pull and it had rubbed. And I just felt like it was really a lot. So I did a little bit better quality. It's called Equiteam Harness. It's Amish made. Everything is just super padded. I don't know. I just have, you know, I've just never, I don't know. I've never asked anybody to pull my fat ass around in a cart before. And I didn't have the heart to like hook him up to like cheap nylon harness and 
I hope that makes sense. Like, I feel like if you're going to ride a horse, it's your responsibility to make sure your bit fits, to make sure. And I don't know enough about this kind of stuff to make sure. I'm sure we're going to put it on a time yeah. or two, and it's going to be a little wonky till we get educated and yeah, until we learn. And so I just want to make sure that if we do have something that's maybe not the best fit, that it's at least padded enough. Like, if you don't have the best fitting bridle, but you have a great quality bit, no matter how tight you get it, it's still not going to pinch. You know, if you don't have the best fitted saddle, but you have great quality saddle pads, you can get away with stuff being a little bit wonky till, you're, till you know better. And I'm going to tell you, I know nothing about driving horses, so I feel like good equipment is the very least I can do for the animals well-being because I'm going to probably screw this up at least once or twice before I know and at least I know nothing should pinch or rub or hinder him in any way and that's important to me is this beautiful yeah I love it okay let's get it down there let's size it I've got a bit in the tack room I'm so I've got tired. a horse that I'm supposed to be riding, <gasps> tied up daddy can wait daddy is not what's important here remind him he's at my house Oh, look how beautiful it all is. Look at our reins. Everything is padded. And roll, like, old and rolled everything already. is padded. That's all I wanted to make sure is that everything was padded. Yes. That was my only... Okay. All right. So I hope you guys agree that this is good quality. It's beautiful. It was not the cheapest, but... Okay, Lane, do me a favor. Mine? This one, hmm? there's a couple of these like that say like bath in a bottle. There's that one. Um, there is the blue one, the blue one. Mm -hmm. Then there's some in here that were green. I think they're underneath it. Yeah. Do me a favor and get all of them in one caddy, like in this purple caddy right here. Put everything that is like anything that says waterless bath, put in that caddy. Uh -huh. In that barn down there, there, it's already open, but it's about halfway used and it's a coat powder and it says on there like something powder i'll find it for you and let's get these in there so that i because we're out of succeed so these are the only ones we so bring, a box over there. bring all of them over there because we're technically out but we have three boxes that'll last us about three weeks for what we have on it but the, i just don't want to think we're out in my mind and we have some down here so if you see that put it where it goes thank you All right, you guys. Somebody sold Jacob a um, finished barrel horse that is supposed to be a 1D finished barrel horse. And Dara's fixing to get on him and go try him through the barrels. Because according to where he came from, he's supposed to be a 1D finished barrel horse. Could win anywhere, according to the guy. Um, his girlfriend was pro-rodeoing. I mean, but we hear stuff like that all the time, so... We're going to find out. Yeah. He said that they broke up and the horse has been in the pasture for like six or seven months with his cows. And anyway. I don't know. He's supposed to be off the track, so he's probably tattooed. He said he was a race horse before they got him. Mm. Not old. Um, yeah, his teeth don't look... Maybe nine, ten. Uh, I would say he's ten by his teeth. But obviously he's been out in the pasture for, he said, all winter, you know, with the cows. Um, oh, once we take him through the barrels, we'll just put him in a stall. Yeah, we just want to make sure he knows them and that he's pretty honest and then we can go from there. Where's daddy at? Yeah, I don't know either. <clears throat> Dare has been cleaning up the shed row in here. There was a little mess left. So she's been transplanting the mess into the high nucersers. I do be loving you. I do be loving you very much. Spidey. What you doing, Spidey? Hi, Spidey. Babe's ear. He's been rubbing it. He's been rubbing it a lot, but... It just, it just looks better. And it just, it looked better before we injected it and it looks better now. So. Hi, sir. Yeah, they're just stripping, stripping, stripping stalls, trying to get the wet out because God bless it. I don't know where daddy's at.
Oh, he's up there. They're on the phone, as per usual. All right, you guys, I'm going to get off of here. Dara's going to try him out. Um, and I'm going to get the harness down here and get it, like, assembled. <laughs> try to follow the directions. He does have good, clean legs, and he's a good boy. He's like a good boy. Mm-hmm. All the donkeys are doing so much better. So that's a... The donkeys are doing so much better. <sighs> yeah, they were sick, sick, you guys. Well, his ear itched before we did that. He's always kind of rubbed it since he got here. But um, that's that's here nor there. I'm fixing to pick Daddy up. Da Jacob wants to drive around the property and make a list of everything on this property that is not sold. Because he said that before March 1st, he is getting rid of everything that we're not keeping. Which is, what's that noise? What is the noise? Uh, no, it's uh, down here. Nope. Hi. Hi, kid. What are you doing? Hi. You're beautiful. The buckskins are beautiful, aren't they? They are really beautiful and illusion cross. They are actually Azteca, both of them. And they pull a cart together. So they don't pull, they pull single or double. And they are, they were owned by an older lady. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys without the glare. And, uh. What are you doing? What's wrong? Come here. No, I mean, Jacob does this all the time. You know, does like a yearly inventory of... Look, we have a cat that showed up. Kitty, 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 kitty. Meow, kitty, 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 kitty. Hi, kitty, kitty. It's got a mouse in its mouth. Did y'all notice that? So. All right, you guys. Well, we had kind of cleared the barn out to disinfect everything and clean it up and just kind of start over. We have to kind of reevaluate. Hey, Dara. It's the buckskin on the end. It's kind of pawing quite a bit. I don't think it's probably ever been stalled. Let's just keep both eyes on it and make sure that that's all it is. was some there was some coat powder that coat powder did you find it down there or is it down I thought it was down here yeah, you said you were yeah I just you didn't see it down there no, I didn't. um it was we opened it so I mean I know it's been used I'll find it because we had it. I did. I had it. <laughs> I'm like, I had it. Not we. Me. And it was like in a, like a, like a container. We have. Do, do, do. Do you guys ever feel that way? Like, neom. Okay, we need to remind me to have him swap the empty boxes out of the succeed. We need to get better about throwing the empty boxes out so that I don't keep thinking we have it and we don't. And then I go to pick them up and they're empty. I had that. What is this? Oh, doc, that's for that mirror. Okay, let's see. I know that powder is here somewhere. We have shit everywhere, don't we, you guys? All right, I'm going to get off here and try to find it because we have all these grooming products, but we have one that I was using, and it was powder, and I don't see it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look. It does not look like it. it is the coat defense, and it says, like, 
waterless bath coat defense. Um, it helps dry and absorb sweat and all kinds of stuff. And I had it and do, do, do. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to. I'm going to look for that and then pick Jacob up and we're going to go make a list of all the unsold horses. And uh, we'll be back. Goodbye. Dara, I had it. It was the coat defense. Have you seen it? A lot. It says coat defense. It's the powder, the, gro the grooming powder that's like, it's basically, and I think this is also that same skin solution from Big Mare. Is that this? The wipes. No, that's Orvis. All right, you guys, we'll be back. Oh, I had, I mean, I had it in my hand, so I know it's here somewhere, because. Today? No, not today. No, if I had it today, I probably could at least remember where I had it, but it's, I've slept since I had it, so. We'll be back. Okay. Do you ever feel that way, like. I keep trying to end the video and it won't end. I guess it's just wanting me to be on the phone with everybody. Okay. Guys. It won't.